government expects to spend $6 billion on COVID relief. This from Minister of Finance Calm Imbert, who said, as of yesterday, Monday, May 11th, government had already spent over $900 million to fund its various support programs designed to bring relief to those in need. Finance Minister Calm Embert also explained why the government can't put a waiver on TNTEC or WASA bills and why the Tobago Regional Health Authority was given $50 million directly and not through the Ministry of Health. Good morning, Chair Tobago. Um, it's nice to be in the land of the living by the grace of God. And if we put our trust and faith in God, everything is going to be right. This COVID soon will be passed away and we all will be back to Thank you. Have a good one. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, you. All of this thing is really real. So wear all your masks and sanitize. Don't go no party. Don't go online. And just stay home and stay safe. Is your boy and welcome to Wood on the Street. And today is COVID 19 economics. All currency is tied to the US dollar. When COVID 19 came, this is what the United States was doing. Central banks around the world have injected money into the economy at a record pace to try to fight a global recession triggered by the coronavirus pandemic. Just getting word from the Federal Reserve. Bombshell announcement from the Federal Reserve. It is an absolutely historic week, both in terms of the speed of Fed purchases and, of course, the magnitude. Since mid-March, the Federal Reserve's balance sheet has ballooned from $4 trillion to around $7 trillion, equal to about one-third of the value of the entire American economy. All the central banks was propping up, still is, our economy. But Trinidad and Tobago was rolling out our new $100 bills. And after COVID took hold, all our money was made new. Like TV from other dimensions has a somewhat looser feel to it. Yeah, it's got an almost improvisational tone. Minister of National Security Stuart Young announced a new note will be in circulation because of national security issues. That in order for us to fight money laundering, including the financing of drugs, narcotics, and illegal firearms, tax evasion, and what is known as the black money economy. When I came to the realization of our monetary system, I wept. Same way I felt this morning, and I wept. Really and truly, we weren't prepared for this at all. When the Federal Reserve was printing money, we Trinidad was partied. All in all, as 
my grandmother used to say, actions speak louder than words. Whatever our governments do with these extra funds created from nothing will tell us the integrity and intent of our leaders. Judge, 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 judge.